This video is the second video in a two-part series where you watch me as I build out a visual automation from scratch using my watertight automation framework to build out reminder emails for your webinar. I'm Jason Resnick of NurtureKit, NurtureKit.co, and if you haven't watched the first video, I suggest that you go ahead and do so because we're going to use what I did to answer those nine questions in this video so that we build out the visual automation very easily, quickly, and simple. I can't iterate enough how important it is to take five or 10 minutes and just use the framework to answer those nine questions. You'll save time, you'll save energy, uh, you'll think of the full on experience of your subscribers as they go through your automation. Look, if they're re receiving mixed messages or the experience isn't as good, well, your goal won't be accomplished. And that's ultimately what we want to do is have people go through our automations and go through it with a great experience so that they actually take action on what we want them to do. So today we're going to go set up these reminder emails to show up for the webinar, otherwise known as a webinar primer sequence. And these are those kind of emails that, well, you don't want to send mixed messages. You want them to show up to your webinar because your webinar is ultimately probably a, a tool in your sales process. And so you want as many people attending your webinar and getting your pitch so that you can then go ahead and sell them your course, your program, your coaching program, all of these things. Some platforms do do this for you. However, they're not on brand. You don't have total control over the timing of these and you certainly don't have control over the content. So this visual automation will help you <laughs> relieve yourself of all of those worries and build out a better sequence for your subscribers. So let's dive in and we'll work through this. As you can see, this is the document that we filled out in the last video. And these are the nine questions with all of the answers, if you will, the notes that we took on each of those. So I'm actually going to put this side by side with our visual automation so that we could kind of work off of it. So first thing we're going to do is come in and build out a new automation. To keep this simple, there are so many different platforms for webinars, GoToWebinar, Demio, Zoom, so many other ones that I, I, I couldn't even list them all here. So for the sake of this automation, what we're going to do is assume that the automation itself is really just the goal of it is to send out those emails. There are platforms that say, if they've attended the webinar, they didn't show up, how engaged were they on the webinar? And you can integrate those as goals inside of this primer to understand how effective your follow-up, your primer sequence is. But for the sake of this, just to keep it simple, we're going to pick a date of our webinar and we're going to send out the emails and the date of the webinar, the time and date of the webinar will be the actual goal, which then off of that, we'll, we will send out the pitch follow-up email, okay? So the purpose of this is that they just signed up to the webinar and we want them to attend live, okay? So first thing we want to do is create that tag. So. I've just created the tags ahead of time just to save some time for us here and you don't need to watch me type all of these things out. So the first thing is, is well, they registered for the webinar. Now, what they shouldn't be a customer yet and who needs to go through this, um, really the purpose and who is helping us define what the, the name of the automation should be, right? So let's just say TOF for top of funnel. And then it's the webinar primer for July. Okay, let's just say we run these every month. And so this is what it is for July, okay? Um, and then let's just bounce back here. 
what is the primary outcome, get them to attend, and they didn't show up. So this is, as I said, if you integrate with Demio natively, or if you're using GoToWebinar and using a tool like Zapier, you can actually get who attended and who didn't, and you might want that as the ultimate goal here. Right, And depending on if they attended or didn't, you might want to send out different sequences. But for the simplicity of this video, let's just assume that everyone is going to attend. And the goal of this is really going to be the date of the webinar to pull everyone through. Okay, so with that in mind, let's go ahead and set that date. Let's say that the date of the webinar is, is July, Wednesday, July 28th at 11 a.m. Driver tag that I describe in another video um, will actually be completed webinar primer 2021-07. Now that's a tag that gets added to somebody as they work through right as the webinar starts, okay? And we're going to create that event here to essentially just clean everybody out, right? Make sure that everybody falls through the bottom of the automation. Now, let's bounce back over to here. Um, are there cases when someone shouldn't go through this? Okay, so buyers who have signed up, right? We want them to go through this sequence, but we don't want to post we don't want to promote them in the post webinar pitch. So if the webinar happens on July 28th, we're actually going to say, are they a customer of ours? Now this could be a tag. Uh, this could be a custom field, however you run your business. Um, and however you've incorporated customers into this, that's what you would want to use in this condition here. And if they, have this tag, then go ahead and go through. If they don't have this tag, well, let's kick off start webinar pitch sequence, right? Let's start this. We're going to apply that tag, which then would trigger off a separate automation to handle up the sales pitch or the sales follow-up sequence in and of itself from your webinar. As you can see, we're handling with that is the buyers, okay? So the other piece here is the registrant who sign up close to the date and time. Within two days of them signing up, we don't wanna send them anything. Now, we actually want to send them something. We're going to send them at least the, hey, we're 24 hours in, we're starting up in an hour, we're starting up now, those kind of emails. So let's just say that the date occurs, right? So if the webinar is on the 28th, if they sign up on the 26th, we're not going to send them the longer sequence, the kind of like the hype, the primer sequence, right? So let's just say uh, that we'll send them the webinar final call sequence, right? So the webinar final call sequence is, is sort of like the hey, we're 24 hours outside of this, just make sure you show up, here's the link. And then the same thing happens for within an hour and then 15, 10 minutes before the actual event, okay? Now, note that if somebody signs up after this in ConvertKit, where there's a date tied to the event, they will automatically be pulled down into this event. For example, if somebody signs up on July 20. 8th at 8 a.m., which is before, we don't want them to say, get an email that says, in 24 hours, we're starting up. That's not the case, right? We wanna make sure that the delay and the text line up. So we're going to make the emails in here dynamic. Now that's separate from this context of this video, but I just wanted to mention that so we're keeping it simple, we're keeping it clean and effective, but your content could have the logic, okay, to handle the time and the wording of the emails. So let's bounce back over into our document here. 
<clears throat> so really now it's what's the primer. So we're going to send the email sequence, the primer email. So that's got, you know, three, four, five different emails, depending on whatever it is that you want to do with your, your emails. We're also going to talk about the webinar count, the webinar referral, the webinar count, right? So that's going to be a custom field. Let's set a custom field for webinar count. And so this is, this allows us to know whether or not someone is coming to multiple webinars of ours. And if that's the case, then we might want to reach out to them separately, right? Um, if, especially if they haven't bought yet, let's, let's reach out and find out why. Now to account for this webinar count to happen, if somebody signs up on July 27th, they're going to get pulled down to here. So we want to account for that because they're not actually going to get to this node. So let's just go ahead and set that custom field here as well. And to be honest with you, what I will do is set a small delay of five minutes. And then I'm going to add so a webinar primer. Okay. And the reason why I do that is because I've been in the game, the automation game a long time. And sometimes when you have logic where there's date uh, happening here, or you're pulling somebody down that you don't want to make sure that they don't hit this, it's best to always set a delay just so that that happens, right? So what we're trying to accomplish here is that if they sign up past July 26th at 11 a.m., they don't get this tag applied, okay? So if they don't have this tag, we're going to assume that they are outside of this window that after this. And so then we're going to set the webinar count by one. Okay. And then we'll remove this one to be quite honest, really didn't have to go that deep, but I like to make sure that things work when I need them to work. Okay. And then let's just see. So latest webinar referral. This is another thing that you want to consider with the platform itself. So go to webinar has a source parameter that gets applied as somebody registers, you want to grab that information. So like I said, go to webinar. If you're integrating with Zapier, Demio, you're integrating natively, you want to grab that and then apply this registered webinar tag. So I would only really include that during that phase. And usually it's a rule or a zap or something of that nature to handle all of that. Now, what are the conversion points? The conversion point is really the completion, which is this, right? So they complete the webinar. If there are already a buyer, they shouldn't receive the post webinar sequence. So we've done that here. And then is this multiple days? no delays, right? So we thought about that through here as well as here, but also inside of this final call content, right? So we want to make sure that we account for any sort of time lag or messaging that says, okay, at 11 o'clock today is the webinar. And if they sign up three hours before that, we don't want to send them the 24 hour notice, right? So you can do that inside of the content itself. If you have a question on that specifically, drop it in the comment below. And then that's it. What I try to do is go back in here and see if there's anything that needs to be updated. So I actually have the webinar final call sequence, right? <clears throat> Because this document then can be a living, breathing document inside of your business so that as you grow and bring people on, they know what's going on. So taking the five or 10 minutes to think through 
your automation, your logic, your business logic, and your subscribers and their experience that you want them to have using the my watertight automation framework will help you build out automations very quickly and very simply. You know, this took maybe 10, 15 minutes to build out, but that was because I was talking through a lot of it. Obviously, I mentioned a few different points in this video and in the automations where technology could change things up a bit, but you can see how you can get subscribers to showing up to your webinars, your live events, your Q and A's, your online trainings, simply by sh setting up the watertight automation framework answers and then dropping them into a visual automation at a very simple level. You'll have those on brand and follow up emails. And I do have another video, which I'll link up here that does let you add those add to calendar links inside of your emails. And that will get your subscribers to just click on a link and add it to their calendar, which will be mo most effective in your success rate of getting live attendees. If this was helpful, go ahead and smash that like button. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so and click that bell icon so that you get notified the next time a video drops. And when you treat your email list like humans, amazing transformations happen.